You don't know the power of the dark side. <laughs> Welcome, X-Wing players. I'm Phil. And I am Jake. Yes, we are Phil and Jake. They From Dark Side Productions, and we are very glad you tuned in tonight. We have something very special. We're streaming a Wave 9 battle report. These ships aren't out, but we wanted to show you what they are and how they fly. Absolutely. I'm so excited that you were able to go to Gen Con and pick these up. Me so too. as we run through the list really quickly here, I'm on the right running the Shadowcaster, Asaz Ventress as the pilot. Uh, she's the one that is able to assign uh, stress to another stress ship if it's in mobile firing arc. She's got engine upgrade, IG-88D, crew member, push to limit, the Shadowcaster title, inertial dampeners, and the black market slicer tools. And accompanying Asajj is IG-88C, who gets the free evade when it performs the boost. And uh, C's got HLC, fire control system, auto thrusters, glitter stem, and crack shot. So what I am running on the left is a Palp Aces build. You've seen those before. I have Captain Yor. <laughs> he is the uh, shuttle pilot who can take stress instead of your Aces. And I am also running the Inquisitor. You've seen him before. Just know that he has proton rockets as well as his normal loadout. I also have the Special Forces tie. He has the title, which allows him to roll an extra die out of the front, or he can attack out of the front and then out of the back. I am running Predator, I am running Collision Detector, I am also running the Pilot Skill 7 Special Forces TIE Pilot, who reads that when you attack out of the back arc, in particular, you get an extra crit. It's That's not a modification, good. it's just an extra crit added onto the roll. So I wasn't able to make that boost there, it would have been pretty crucial that I made that there. <laughs> uh, but. Again, we're just going to park that IG behind the asteroid there. No target lock range. Well, he's for scary massage, back there, so too. That's true. That's okay. True. And because you do have the file sharing crew, IG 88D, <laughs> uh, you are getting that free boost uh, and, and that evade. Well, yeah, the free, the free the evade, free evade yeah. with the boost. It's really good. I think it's a little point heavy on this list. Um, I think one thing that I would change is inertial dampeners. Uh, because with Asajj having PTL, inertial dampeners is really situational. And I probably might be able to get better use out of inertial dampeners on the IG-88 oh. instead of Glitter Sim. Looks like we decided I have Auxiliary Arc, so I'm going to roll two dice, which is the primary weapon. But one of them, I, I, on top of that, I'm getting a free crit. So what did I get? So you got hit crit here, and it's so tricky now to play against this, you know, because you have to think, oh, he can shoot you from his backside now. Yeah. And so just being able to add a crit, as you can see, already taking two damage off that shadow caster there is just, it's a rough start early on in the game. And so I, uh, that I switched my mobile firing arc. Uh, with one of my actions for PTL, so now I'm able to shoot back at the uh, SF TIE Fighter with uh, Asajj. So I rolled pretty decently here, and you rolled also decently, and you have Palpatine. So, so I imagine you rolled a lot of pain here. I think you got... Uh, I think I took a damage here, eight, yep. if I remember. Yep, okay. Yep, took a damage there. Yeah, that two primary on the SF TIE is really deceiving because they have abilities that modify it in that title, and it looks like two red dice. It's not really two red dice. That's true. That's true, just because you can add that crit. Does Omega Leader prevent adding that die result? Right? Yes. Right, okay. Yes, he would, because so it happens after dice are rolled. So yeah. Omega Leader target locked onto a Special Forces tie would prevent it. That's true. Yeah. And... By the way, uh, my shuttle does have fire control system, just so you know. Yeah, so would you rather have kept that off for an initiative? Because I think you came in at 100 points, didn't you? I, yeah, I did. So, I don't know. Keep it off for an initiative bid or put two points somewhere else. I'm not really sold either way. So, oh, boosting as, in. I can s as you can see here now, I'm uh, turning in finally with that IG again. And... 
this is kind of where I misplayed here because, from my understanding, I thought you could only shoot out of the mobile firing arc. For whatever reason, I had it locked in my head. Probably that's, I've never played it on Vassal mm -hmm. or anything like that. Didn't really do a whole lot of research on the craft before I got it. I just really liked the model and I really like Asajj Ventress. So. And we pretty much just showed up at the game store, opened up these ships, and threw together a list in like five minutes. So yep. neither of us are really know what we're doing. I'm using air quotes here <laughs> with these ships, uh, but we're doing our best, and we hope you enjoy it. That's so, true. So shots okay. from the uh, SF tie there. It's so good just being able to put that consistent amount of damage on board. And as but you see, you I have to spend all my tokens. Yes, you had to spend all your tokens, but that free evade that you got from that IG-88 crew card is... That's money. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm checking for yep. that that uh, arc there from that yeah. mobile firing arc. That's a shame. I wish I wish we had clarified that beforehand because that's a, that's a shot you didn't get to take. Yep. Uh, but... You live and you learn. Yeah, exactly, and that's why we make these videos, and that's why we say these things so other people don't make the same mistake. <laughs> learn not from that, our mistakes. Not Do that it. Uh, I foresee anybody doing that anyway. So we're going to come right. into the SF tie here from uh, the IG-88C, and, and that's three hits. And that is... Oh, worth noting that the SF tie only has two green dice. You'd expect it to have three because it's a TIE fighter, but it does not, so what do I have? So you okay. rolled, you rolled uh, evade and focus here, and okay. the awesome thing is with that uh, that card oh, that sensor you freaking cluster. put on, you right. are able to change, or I'm sorry, you were able to add a evade result by spending a focus. No, it actually changes a blank into an evade, so I still take some damage here. Oh, okay, that's yeah. right. That's why we discussed that. I'm sorry. Right, so, yeah, no, it does it's change okay. A blank into evade. So I ended up crack shotting that uh, one evade there, put two more damage, and there go mm -hmm. the hull. From I mean, you can see yeah. how it's even more important, because had I put some additional damage on it with the Shadowcaster... Well, we'll see how it pans out, but it, yeah. it might have taken it off the board a turn or two earlier, but I don't know. We'll... It's hard to say. I do have three hull on these. These guys are as durable as defenders, so they're expensive. That's true. You pay the points for that hull and that stat line. But Plus, it's got an additional shield, too. It's two shield and five hull, uh, three hull, excuse me. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's three shield, three hull. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's cool. I thought it it's was, a tank. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, Okay, what do you have? Six. Oh, and what's the Shadowcaster have on its stat line? So the Shadowcaster has three shield, seven hull. It also has three primary attack value and two agility value. Which is down to one because you just, as you flashed us, took a structural damage. No, crit, blinded pilot there. Oh, blinded pilot. Yeah, okay. Blinded pilot there, which is really, really crucial yeah. because she's going to skip her <laughs> next opportunity to attack. Yeah, and as you can see, I kind of am playing chicken with the Inquisitor over there. Well, the opposite of that. Okay, dials are yep. set. Yep, so unfortunately, um, I did a lot of very fast maneuvers. Mm -hmm. uh, early on in this game, got pretty bad positioning. Well, you're so, jousting a little bit there. Yes, yeah. yes, which is kind of what uh, I wanted to do. I mean, but I wanted to maneuver in such a way that I was able to trap you in my mobile firing arc. Uh, and again, my thinking was just, hey, that mobile firing arc's got to be locked in. You know, and since I bump, I can't oh. change my action, or my mobile firing arc there with my action. The Inquisitor is back. He w he took a break, but <laughs> but now he's, he's back. Now he's refreshed and ready to fire, and he's taking his target lock, so he gets a free evade. Yes, and he is and a very that's an obstructed shot. Very good anti auto thrusters counter. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, well, counter to auto thrusters rather. Very anti auto thrusters because all his attacks are at range one, and since I'm utilizing auto thrusters on on 88C, it doesn't really matter. Uh, something else that's not really working in Phil's favor right now is he he does have to split his fire up, so uh, he cannot just lay in lay both of his arcs into one ship right now. He has to split between the special tie and the shuttle. Okay. Yeah, and I just mm, uh, I roll a lot of pain here, so we roll some roll some evade or focus results and change them to evades with the focus token. That is the. Which is good. Yes, that is the aggressor's MO. Well, and I kind of miss seeing dual aggressors uh, in a lot of major tournaments. I know one just placed really well at Gen Con, but yeah. that's a very 
very good list. I mean, very rogue list. Uh, and he's obviously been flying it for a while. So, so I spent the focus. I'm thinking about it. Am I doing it? Yep. Yep. I rerolled one of those dice with Predator, and I spent a focus, and then I added a crit, so that hit eyeball became hit hit crit. And yep. what did you roll in I response? Blanked out. Oh, I blanked, blanked out. out. Yeah. Oof. Again. <laughs> Not surprisingly. So I'm taking okay. that. Okay. All right. Uh, we hit hit crit here, and that's a thrust control fire. Not that it. Uh, I'm oh, taking so two crits here. That's the uh, mm-hmm. one on the top top okay. section of your dice triangle there. You've got that hole to eat those crits up, but you're eating them up. So yep. And the, the next crit was shaken pilot, so I can't perform any a straight maneuver, straight maneuvers, right? Yeah. right? Okay. Right. And didn't get any shots due to the blinded pilot, which is yeah. totally crucial here because I have you in my mobile arc, and I was like, ah, yes. okay. And. So we're putting four on the shuttle there, and then you just oh, so key dodge point one. key point of Asajj Ventress. A lot of people are pretty freaked out by her because she just has to basically look at you. She has to turn her mobile firing arc over to you, and she assigns you a stress at range but, one to two. At range one to two. So a lot of people are kind of wondering how do you play against Asajj Ventress with a lot of the traditional lists that are out there right now, and. I, I'm not tooting my own horn or anything, but I'm trying to say I think this is a way to do it, is keep yourself at range three. Give her yep. some space, try to snipe some shots on her, and then when you're ready to run in and close it, uh, close it hard. As the shuttle's putting in work okay. onto the aggressor there, taking two shields off. And getting a free target lock. Getting a target lock with the fire control system. Uh, fun fact, the shuttle actually is allowed to shoot it doesn't just have to be a vehicle for palpatine <laughs> not everyone knows that but it's a little life hack when you run the shuttle it is allowed to shoot yeah i like i like seeing players actually take shots with the shuttle instead of leave it in a corner for the entire match <laughs> which is fine uh if you do it either way but it's a little more entertaining when you're rolling dice oh i like that list that runs two shuttles into the corner into each other and they never move yep. you know what i'm talking about yep. or the list that plays four shuttles and and also, runs a pinwheel. Yeah, and none of them move. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I'm lying. I don't actually like that list. I don't. I don't condone that. <laughs> yeah. So as we can see here, Asajj has a lot of damage on her already. Okay. And as as the IG turns in here, we're gonna try to mm. go for uh, go for broke here and, who and are see you what trying, we can do. Who are you trying to kill here? Are you trying to gun for the Inquisitor right now, or are you trying to get in a good position to shoot the SF top? Um, I was trying to get in a good position, but then again, I forgot about the auxiliary firing arc on the back side, okay. and I'm like, oh, that's right. These little ships have them now. Well, and there's me barrel rolling out of range and taking a target lock to make sure I did it. There's me barrel rolling out of range two of that mobile firing arc because yep. I do not want to see another stress on the Inquisitor. And yes. I'm taking the shot, rolling and, and, very well. And, and yeah, ooh, and Inquisitor's just putting uh, good hits on there. And again, you blank just, out. Yeah, just no modifications mm-hmm. there, and blank on the other one. So it's not surprisingly enough, you know, if you're gonna if you're able to modify your attack dice, and you're not able to modify your defense dice. Yeah, you know, obviously. Sometimes even if you can modify both, usually the red's gonna win. Yep. All right, so yep. now we have that shadow caster down. It was definitely really interesting to see the tech that you can put on it. Um, As I mentioned, I didn't get any use out of inertial dampeners. I would have much preferred to put glitter stim and then switch inertial dampeners onto IGAGC. This would have been a good glitter but stim turn. Yes. All right. So luckily, IG is not taking any shots here, but yeah. I just flew a little too fast with Asajj this game. I had to be a little bit more controlling in the battlefield, and she can really just skirt around the edges until somebody chooses to come to her. And even though she's at low pilot skill, she's still manageable. I mean, if you put veteran instincts on her instead of push the limit, she becomes an eight. I don't even necessarily know that she needs that. If you, I mean, in general, if you have a quarter of a base that you can adjust yep. kind of anywhere you want it, you can kind of predict where those aces are going to be That's when true. we're talking in that general direction. And here I barrel roll. 
And I'm going off the map with that special forces tie next turn, if you look at the way it's pointed. Uh, but in return for that, I have a range one shot with the auxiliary arc, so I'm getting a lot of damage out. So. Yep. And shots coming at okay. range one from the Inquisitor here. And I am re-rolling with a target lock, it looks yep. like. Yep, spend the target and lock, and then you... <laughs> into two eyeballs. Do I have a focus? Well, yeah, you took a focus here. Oh, okay, Push good. Push limit to focus. Target lock, focus. Which is pretty much what you should do anyway, because that's maximizing your action economy, you know, 100%. So you're throw, throwing two hits against the IG-88, and again, just... Okay, yeah. Rolling and three IG dice, only getting one one evade there, so... Ouch. So, I have a little, you know, secret high score that I keep. I fly ships off the board sometimes. It's just a thing I do, because, you know... I'm not good, but um, <laughs> but I like to see how far off the board I can get because you don't get an action. So I think I'm gonna try to do a five forward here with that special forces tie. And he's just like, nope, that's that's his cloaking device. And you yeah, never see him again. Yeah, he's he's way cloaked. He's so cloaked, he's never uncloaking. Yep, and as you roll, looks like it. Okay, crit, crit, crit. There. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's the best case Palpatine scenario. Palpatine a crit and adding a crit. And yes. I have no focus tokens, so I'm taking a lot, yeah. a lot of damage here. I got one evade. Well, and that's that's why I barrel rolled over there instead of... Um, well, I don't know that I really could have done anything about it, but... I got two loose stabilizers there, which is weird because usually I never get the same crit in one attack. Well, that's why... I was willing to go off the board with that special forces yep. ties because that backdraft's ability. I know people are freaking out about quick draw, but look at backdraft. Seriously, just take a look at the card. You know, brainstorm a little bit about what you can do with it. I think you'll like what you see. Yep. So you put significant amount of damage on the uh, aggressor here, and it's not looking good for uh, the old scum and villainy. Yes, they are being subjugated by the Empire. But at least I take some MOV here and uh, knock out that SF tie. Yep. Uh, didn't even have to try for that one, I guess. No? Yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Can you say that you destroyed the SF tie? Oh, and it's gone. Nope. And, it <laughs> and, and it's gone. Good feeling it's gone. No, the SF right. tie definitely put in work. Yeah, and so now we've got uh, some shots exchanged between the aggressor who is at range two so he gets that hlc shot and the shuttle yes so let's see what happens yes okay so rolling four dice is is usually good but yeah. then only good when you have stuff to modify it with which you do but i had a focus here so you know three hits is better than two mm -hmm. uh, taking three shields yep. off the shuttle and the rest are gone Yep. So the shuttle gets to return fire. Yes. With and three here. So I did not Palpatine myself in evade. I figured I would rather use Palpatine on offense. Yeah, why not? And let's see how that works out for me. Why not? I mean, you, you weren't taking any damage yeah. to your hull. So. And then, oh, look, all the hits. Three hits. All but all I think hits. I'm going to use Palpatine to turn so one into a crit. That's, okay. hit, crit, that's hit, crit, crit there. So I rolled uh, two No, evades. that's hit, hit, crit. Oh. Yeah, you're and, right. Okay, I couldn't okay, tell you got two evades. Otherwise... Uh, I did no. take a crit there. Yep. And I can't tell which one that was. I don't remember which one it was. But, you oh, know, he's yeah. got three crits on him. Okay. He's down to one hull. Oh, uh, they have four? Yes. Okay. Yeah, four shields, four hull. Okay. So, as we go into the next round of yep. planning and activation here. The shuttle's just going to bump with no actions, and then... Here's the aggressor. The aggressor 4K just turn. 4k turns. Okay, and the Inquisitor also 4k turns, so this is the face-off. Doesn't care, because he's got range 1, doesn't need modifiers here. And yeah. we're going to pop Glitter Sim just because we want to roll focus results. Right, so uh, hopefully Palpatine can keep me alive and do some damage to you. Because if you do, if I, if I blink out here and you do take out the Inquisitor... I don't like the shuttle's odds of taking out that aggressor. So right, let's see how it goes. Oh, so and we're shaking as you hands. put a okay. ton, you only need to put one on, and I didn't roll, didn't yeah. squat because I was rolling two or one less agility. Yeah. So again, thank you guys for watching. We really appreciate it. Leave a comment with what you think, especially you know excited for Wave Nine. Also, be ready because we are going to do another Wave Nine battle of the Arc One Seventy versus the 
Protectorate Starfighter. Yep. So Some those are the other well. two Wave 9 ships. We know you want to see how they fly on the table, so check it out. We'll link to it in the description. Until next time, fly casual.